Welcome to our AWS policy evaluation video. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with IAM roles and S3 bucket permissions. Our viewer is trying to understand how their IAM policy evaluates access to an S3 folder based on user agent. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's begin by understanding the IAM policy provided. This policy allows actions on S3 resources based on the user agent. The first statement grants permission for all S3 actions on a specific path that includes the user agent. This means the user agent is dynamically inserted into the resource ARN. The second statement allows listing the bucket, but only for prefixes that match the user agent. This is controlled by a condition. Now let's analyze the specific request. A user with the role attempts to put an object in the path bucket test service micro slash new object with user agent micro A. Since the resource path does not match the allowed pattern for the user agent, this request results in an explicit deny. The policy does not grant permission for this action. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. When a request is made in AWS, the service evaluates whether to allow or deny it. By default, all requests are denied, but an explicit allow can override this. However, an explicit deny will always take precedence over any allows. In S3, if you don't explicitly allow access to a resource, it's implicitly denied. You can also explicitly deny access to ensure a user cannot access it, even if another policy allows it. You can specify conditions in S3 policies using the condition element. This allows for conditional permissions, meaning access can be granted based on specific criteria. In summary, your case involves a conditional allow, meaning access is granted based on specified conditions. Remember, the principle of least privilege applies, where decisions default to deny unless explicitly allowed. For more insights, check out AWS's blog on authorization with multiple access control mechanisms, which explains how IAM policies S3 bucket policies, and ACLs work together. And that's it, guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And, you know, if it did, please, I appreciate if you could hit subscribe. Until next time, guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have the good one. Cheers.